With Flow Mastering Suite's 1.2 update, you can now get closer to the sound of professionally released tracks. Add an external sidechain to allow for a reference track and compare the tonal balance, loudness, and dynamic range. Let's see what this new feature offers, and then I will show you how to set this up in your favorite DAW. By clicking external sidechain, you have a quick way of flipping back and forth between your master and your reference track. Right away, this allows you to use your ears to compare your music to a professional reference. For deeper visual feedback, you can select to monitor your sidechain under the frequency section. Under channel configuration, let's make sure to select out slash sidechain. Now I can see the frequency response of my track with a bright outline and compare it to the reference with a lighter hue. I notice my track lacks low and high frequency presence. I'll use the sweet EQ to address this. The dim feature at the bottom right of the plugin allows me to keep the plugin open but check my analyzer in the background. If I still need additional tweaking, I could do this right on the plugin. We can also compare the loudness of our reference track. Click Show Sidechain under Dynamic Range, and the top waveform will show your track with the bottom waveform showing your reference. Or select LUFS to compare loudness between tracks. We can see that not only is our track not loud enough, it could also use a bit of compression to keep it under control. Now let's see how to set up the sidechain feature in your own DAW. In Logic, load your reference track to a separate track. You can name that track Reference to make it easier to find. Then mute the reference on the mixer as we do not want to hear it on playback. Load the Flow plugin directly on the stereo app. Start playback and remember to calibrate your input. In the sidechain menu on the top right, select Audio and then your reference track. By clicking the external sidechain button, we can now toggle between your master and your reference. In Ableton Live, load your reference track to a separate track. You can name that track Reference to make it easier to find. Then mute the reference in the mixer, as we do not want to hear it on playback. Load the flow plugin directly to the main output. Close the Flow plugin and look down at the Audio Effects section of Live. On Flow Mastering Suite, select your reference as the sidechain. You can now reopen the Flow plugin. Start playback and remember to calibrate your input. By clicking the external sidechain button, we can now toggle between your master and your reference. In Cubase, load your reference track to a separate track. You can name that track Reference to make it easier to find. Then mute the reference in the mixer. Load the Flow plugin to your stereo app. On the Flow Mastering Suite plugin, click the Activate Sidechain button at the top, and then click the drop down menu on the right for sidechain routing. Click Add Sidechain Source and select your reference as the sidechain. To the right of the level slider is the pre and post fader sends. Click it to send pre fader. Make sure to go into your settings and under VST, uncheck mute pre send when mute. We can now mute our reference track and know that the pre fader send will still send signal to the flow plugin. Start playback and remember to calibrate your input. And now, by clicking the external sidechain button, we can toggle between your master and the reference. In Studio One, load your reference track to a separate track. You can name that track Reference to make it easier to find. Load the Flow plugin directly on the main output. On the Flow Mastering Suite plugin, click Sidechain at the top and then select your reference as the sidechain. By selecting Output instead of Send, your reference track will only play through the Flow plugin. Start playback and remember to calibrate your input. And now by clicking the external sidechain button, we can toggle between your master and the reference. 
Pro Tools does not allow the setup of a stereo sidechain, but you do have the ability to send a summed mono sidechain. This allows you to compare the frequency and dynamic range of your reference to your master. Load your reference track to a separate track. You can name that track Reference to make it easier to find. Then mute the reference in the mixer as we do not want to hear it on playback. Next, create a send and send to a bus. Option click the fader to set it to zero. Now make sure the send is set to pre-fader as we are muting this track but still want to hear the bus as our sidechain. Load the flow plugin directly on the master output of your session. In the key input menu on the top left, select the bus that you created for your reference track. Start playback and remember to calibrate your input. By clicking the external sidechain button, the audio that plays back will sound in mono. So if we want to hear your reference track, it is best to solo that track from the Pro Tools mixer. Add external sidechain and references by updating your Flow Mastering Suite plugin today.